I'd rather go for the safer, like more guaranteed, fair, fair. Right, exactly, yeah. I mean, even like damage wise, you it's not like you get a redundant amount of Yeah, you get damage. maybe like 15 more percent? Yeah, 15 or 20 more damage. All right, so Chrom, okay. All right, so Chrom, 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 zero suit. I definitely, out of all the characters I've seen Shine play, Chrom is probably like the highest tier character. Oh, easily. Like, yeah. There's no question about it. Yeah. So, yeah, especially against Zero Suit 2, a character that you usually want to, doesn't have too many crazy rising aerials. Chrom definitely has a bunch of crazy rising aerials. Oh, yeah. The only good rising aerial she has is fair. Yeah. And so Zero Suit was always okay against swords. But most of them weren't, didn't have the aerial drift that Chrom or Roy has. Oh, wow. And the flip kick almost connects. Oh, there's That's a fair. Wow. wow. I, hmm, he could have challenged that with flip kick. Yeah, definitely. Or even just side B. Yeah, side B would have been a very safe, like, disjointed. And that might have killed him, too. But very interesting. Nonetheless, going to get his footing back. Has this uh, decent amount of stage control here. As both players are fighting for it, Shine now at the center of a rival, getting underneath the platform, giving him really good positioning. Oh, the up he almost connects, but not the hardest punish from Shine. Up boost kick out of shield has been nerfed quite a bit. Not because it's buffed in the sense where it connects better and it kills more consistently. Right. But they nerfed the launching hitbox. Okay. Boost kick now has a bigger hitbox in the air than it does on the ground, which is a little bit weird. Yeah, I know someone was telling me about that too. That's yeah, it's very interesting. So the initial scoop hitbox is not gigantic. Yeah, it's big. a lot smaller when grounded comparative to the aerial version. Tries to hit the back air. That move can be hard to contest. A forward throw. Man, and that forward air not fully connecting there. Probably would have took the sock if it fully connected. Oh, but the back air does connect. Rival only taking 26 damage. I know back air is better for catching people near now because it has a slightly angled up hitbox. Okay. So it's not like just flat across behind it now. It kind of goes at like maybe like a 5, 10 degree angle a little higher. Nice. Yeah, that's always good. Ooh, the Zair, Shine, sticking, sneaking right under it. Oh, wow. Oh. No punish. Okay. okay. You're going to get the grab. There's the flip kick, but. Misses the, the spike. Yeah. Sends him on stage. Gets the damage nonetheless, but you always want to have that positional advantage. Tries to go for it again, but didn't have enough time to set it up. Oh, wow. Ooh, I, I, I actually thought he was going to armor through that. I'm surprised he didn't run up boost kick that. Oh, there there's a side beam. But not going to kill him just yet. Ooh, just the air dodge. Oh, but big damage. That that up B is so good. Just for, like, damage. I guess it's just in general. Yeah, it's just it's really good. Except when you get hit off stage by a kind of character. Yeah. Other than that, good kill power. If you have the lead, fair up B is still a really good option. Yeah. And it's good out of shield option. Yeah, that's that's so good. And I've, I've been seeing a lot of Kroms actually end their combos off as well. Oh, not enough, though. Yeah, they'll, like, string and then finish off their string with up B. Huh. Yeah, it's it's really good. Um, like, James will do it. I've seen Blank do it. Sometimes you can just do a roll like that if you're, you know. Whoa, oh. dang. He, he, you know, I respect the rival. You went for it. You tried to kill him at 25, you know. He can still do it now. It'd be like Zero that. Zero suit, when she dares, doesn't die first anymore. Oh, really? Yes, if you get sweet spot, unless you're like ridiculously high in the air and you're both like low percent. As far as I can tell, and from what I've seen, Zero Suit kills you first. Wow. Very interesting change there. Side so be a little too early. Gonna get the grab. Forward throw. Gets the double jump back here. Good spacing coming out from Shine. Ooh, falling up air. That's what you want as Prom. That backside of falling up air is so much fun. There's the boost camp I was talking about. Yeah, didn't have that scoop that you were talking about. Oh, oh no double jump. Nope. He has the air dodge here. Oh, but yeah, once he didn't have the air dodge anymore, so he was stuck. Yeah, he's stuck in that lag, and he had to air dodge because he had no double jump. Yeah. So the only did. way he could have recovered. He maybe could have held on to the air dodge and then get closer to the ledge, then air dodge. But I know Kron doesn't have the best air dodge recovery. You, if you can't recover straight to the ledge, right, right, you'll right. just miss and just yeah. fall. All right, so Rival... Almost kind of losing that one. Yeah, kind of went a little bit hard with that there. Yeah, a li little, you know, when you be schmoovin' too hard, you know. He was feeling himself. He was like, yeah. ooh, I got this. The Zeus is still, is still, is still in there. Yeah, you, you definitely, so sometimes you can schmoove too hard and then lose because of it. But Rival picking it up, getting that edge guard, calling out that double jump, really good stuff. Let's see how it is here in game number two. We are in winner's quarters, so this is best of three. Shine looks like he's going to stick it out with the Krom. 
Chrome has so many like beautiful colors. Like I love the the orange and white. It looks so smooth. The creamsicle man. <laughs> I love the creamsicle color schemes. Uh, oh, the parry. No punish though. Rival trying to get that forward tilt, but not quite close enough. There, Shine again. That falling upgrade, that's what you want is from. You want those falling upgrades into those falling in, into anything, essentially. Yeah, falling upgrades first in there. <coughs> Going pretty even right now. Trying to catch this landing here. Oh, forward throw tech chase. Doesn't get the forward smash, though. Okay, try to go for a up B out of shield. I saw the swing up, but frame one jab will catch him out in time. Okay, Rival using that flip kick, getting back to the center stage. Really good. Still an amazing tool. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. I saw people were talking about it. Back rolls in this game is they're really hard. Back it, rolls? Yes, back rolls. Because like when you look at oh, there it is. Yep. yep, there it is. When you look at characters' back rolls in this game, they don't. A lot of them have a lot of and like regardless if they had spam their the rolls and air dodges or not. Okay. Oh, that's it again. Dang. <laughs> I, I feel like Rival could have SDI to the right. Nope, he was dead. Maybe it's just floaty characters. I've seen people get out of it, but it was usually floaty characters. But, I mean, Zero Suit definitely not a floaty, so I right there. So it's all that DI in on the Nair. I don't think he got it. Yeah, yeah. At, at that point, yeah. I, I feel like as long as you DI everything out, you shouldn't. that shouldn't yeah, happen. it shouldn't happen, but as soon as he DI'd the Nair in. The Nair in, yeah. And he, then was, he was too close during the upbeat. Yeah, and after you, that. You need to be a little farther out. But nonetheless, I mean, really good stuff from Shine. Getting the stock lead and then pretty much just getting the Krom side. Seeing the situation on both stocks. Kind of like that one uh, game we had earlier tonight with the double Bowser side. Yeah. It's just kind of like, all right, game two. Like, boop, boop. Pretty close to the done. beginning and it's just, oh, done. I guess the game is over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what happened? It's two fast games. All right, so we are going into game three. Looks like Sheena is sticking with the Creamsicle Krom. A lot of characters have a white ultimate skin color, and I like this, like in this game. Yeah, it's really cool. But the, just, just the general like color palettes are really nice. Right, so running at two Town of City. All right, so Town of City, um, you know, gonna have a high ceiling, not like Smash Four where it had the low ceiling, but still gonna give you that FD feel with various amounts of uh, platform layouts. Right now we have this platform layout, but the middle platform not moving, so kind of like a reverse battlefield. Good catch up on that up air. I didn't actually see that coming. Many resets here coming out from Rival, but still looking, the percentage is looking very even here. Both players coming out swinging on this first stock. Oh, the block stream, really good shield pressure coming out from both players here. Nair, really good DI from Shine. Um, Rival wasn't able to get any follow from that. Oh, there's a grab. Wow, calling out the jump, it looks like. Oh, right. tries to flip kick, but it's a little too far, huh? Yeah. It's, he needed to pull it just a bit further, but the side B will catch it this time and will kill. Shine being at a decent high percent, that move is powerful. Yeah. Very different from side B and Smash 4. Oh, that move was garbage. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, you even pointed out earlier, you that is a disjointed move that you can uh, use against Krom up B and not worry about, like, spacing your hitbox around it because, you know, like... You, you don't want to get hit by the sword and all yeah, that jazz. You just so throw it out. It's just really safe. So really cool to see Rival utilizing that here in this game, number two. And also picking up himself up a very fancy lead here. Almost, yeah, he hit the down smash with no follow-up after. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, uncharged down smash. He got nerfed pretty hard in this game. Very hard to follow up with anything substantial. Right, so probably like dash attack or fair. Dash attack, fair, maybe against really tall characters, bear. Okay. All right, so Rival going to lose his first stock. Now Shine, oh, wait, Ooh. maybe saying for this Krom side, but Rival says no. If I was Shine, I would take it. Oh, free. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially with this percent deficit. Oh, the side view was so close to connecting there. Wow. Shine barely going to make his way back on stage, but he's off stage once again. The flip kick, not going to hit his mark. Okay, yeah. Still pretty good damage from that upbeat, nonetheless. The Rival is doing the flip kick just a bit too much, and as it's all there, that should have been boost kick, but because of the way they nerfed it a bit, it's just not. It's, it's questionable. It would have right? worked. That wouldn't have worked at all, like guaranteed. Yeah, so Rival just playing it safe there. Tech chase, no. Directional air dodge into the uh, tech in. It's going to grant Shine another breath of life here. Oh, 
Rival. Oh, wow. Really good avoidance from Shine. Almost punching with F Smash, too. That would have taken the stock. F Smash, so strong from Krom. But there, it looked like a shield poke. That was a shield poke. That was 100% a shield poke. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's crazy of... how much moves, like, just shield poke, or just how strong shield poking is in general. Yeah. Before in Smash 4, shield poking was basically non existent. Yeah, it was maybe, very hard. maybe once or twice. But in this game, you can shield poke someone. There have been moments where, like, you get shield poke even through your shield. Yeah. And it's just like, wait, what? Huh? <laughs> All right, so even game here. Shine going to get that stock. Now, one stock apiece, 0%. Rival going to get something started here. Both players playing pretty safe now. Shine trying to find his opening. Rival just using the flip kick to get right back in center. But Shine going to punch it and getting a good 38%. Okay, falling up air. Now, now that we have the platforms in here, we're kind of like reverse battlefield style of platforms. See how both players adapt to this. That middle platform looks like both players are trying to control that area. Really important part of the stage, center stage as well. Shine taking the lead, solid 75%. Rival struggling just a little bit to catch Shine off. Oh, gets the stun, but yeah, I mean, I guess un uncharged yep. neutral B got nerfed as well. Yeah, uncharged, the, the, tur the stuns in general just don't work as well in this game. Oof, and right there, the whiff grab, especially against Krom. And that's something that we haven't seen rival whiff too much. For the yeah. most part, a lot of his grabs were very, like, very solid reads. But that the one time where, you know, he didn't get it, Shine was close enough in position to get that dash, get that forward smash, and got the kill at 50. Rival was saying that was a robbery. Oh, dang. He got robbed. Shouldn't have thrown that grab out. I mean, to be fair, Zero Suit be robbing people in Smash 4. Da dang. Feeling a taste of own medicine <laughs> in this game. No, I mean,